Uh, what's your channel name? Learn English with Camille. We are going to do a video today where my friend Arun, who also has a YouTube channel, is going to cook Indian food. And anyone that knows me knows that I love Indian food. arrived at Arun's house. This is Arun. Thank you so much for being here or for letting me be here with you. No problem. You're most welcome and I love when people come over. Yes <laughs> and Arun is going to teach me a bit in the kitchen today. He has a YouTube channel cooking with Arun Komar and he is an amazing chef. So I'm super excited today also to hear some of his story, how he got here to America, how he learned English and also to eat some delicious food. So what are we cooking today? So I'm cooking, it's called, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I create my own recipe. So, yes. so I'm making, it's called Indo-Afghani rice, like pulao. Mm -hmm. So it's like, has Afghanistani taste with Indian. Yeah, uh, that's so, amazing. And with Indian also. Yes. <laughs> These spices smell so good. Thanks. What are the main spices that you use when you cook Indian food? Okay, so for Indian food, there's a, there are a bunch of different spices. So cumin, mm -hmm. cinnamon, clove, cardamom, and turmeric, uh, garam masala. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. turmeric, cumin, mm -hmm. chili powder, garam masala. These are like basic Key. names. Yeah. And uh, ginger garlic, okay. fresh ginger garlic, mm -hmm. onion, mm -hmm. which is so these are all very healthy spices actually. Yes. Like if you eat like this in a nicely, like if you cook like good way, mm -hmm. like in healthy way, it will be, should be, should, uh, should be very healthy actually. Yes. Can you pour, uh, okay, maybe like around two table, three tablespoon of oil? Yeah. Or just, uh, you can measure on your own, you know. Little more, more. Yeah, that's good. You don't measure anything, do you? <laughs> yeah, we don't do. I, I just do, but I know how much is this. So I just tell you, okay, this is one teaspoon or one tablespoon. Yeah. Okay, so we'll wait for oil to get hot. Okay. So when oil is hot, so we're going to start with the whole spices. So you can hold this. So we're going to start with the cinnamon uh -huh. and then clove. We just started with the oil, so three tablespoons of olive oil, and now we're putting some clove. Uh, sorry, some uh, cinnamon. cinnamon stick, like three, four, all and, the cloves, and six cloves, whole cloves. And after that, we put some uh, one teaspoon of uh, cumin seed. Yeah, and for yeah, that's it right now. And okay. Let's uh, wow. maybe like in a ten second. Um, I'm gonna. Put some onion. Okay, so now we're gonna add some onion here. Like I'm gonna add this, like half onion, and yeah, and I'm gonna keep this. Wanna save this for later? Okay. So how long have you been here in America? Uh, like I can say I'm like kind of in and out. Last uh, seven, seven years. Seven years, yeah. okay. And did you know English before coming? Yeah, I do know that time. Uh, okay. Because uh, when I was in India, so we had like lots of uh, international students that come where I'm working. Yeah. So they come, so we show them around, like, you know, mm -hmm. and lead them. So I like practice my English with them. So okay. I study in, in, in a school, but we don't get like, I study in a government school. Mm -hmm. But in government school, they don't teach you English like all, so they only have one like a subject, like okay. 40 minutes okay. in a day. So yeah. you just uh, learn basic English channel, yeah. then like, you know, when you mm -hmm. go in a college and all, then you can learn more. But, mm -hmm. uh, but lots of, uh, even like, uh, it's still in India, they study in English medium and all, but they don't speak. Mm, okay. There's no practice. Okay. Yeah, so, so I don't have any practice that time. What is your official language then? Uh, Hindi. Hindi. That's my mother tongue. Okay. Yeah, and because in India, every Indian speak at least four or five different languages. Wow. So like very common. Are they actual languages or dialects? 
their languages and plus dialects. Okay. Also, yeah. So okay. like I have a local dialect which mm -hmm. is uh, not very language. It's mm -hmm. called mountain language. Okay. So which is like just dialect actually. Yeah. Like where I'm from, the local people there. Yeah. Oh, sorry, uh, local people that speak. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So coming here to America was it a shock mm -hmm. for you? Because I'm married with American, so yeah. it was not that big shock. Yeah, it's okay. a little bit shocking. A little when you come like culture shock, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, yeah. same way like when you go to India, yes. you get big culture shock. When you come here, you get big, yes. you know, so different culture. Yeah. Yeah. And I, since because I'm married, we live in America. Uh, sorry, we live in India after we got married. Yes, for how long? Uh, two years. Wow. Uh, before we came here, okay. and so like I got some idea and. I'm like, uh, you know, like touch with so many like, uh, especially like American people that come there and mm -hmm. I have so many friends who live there. I used to yeah. teach in Hindi. Really? Some of uh, my friends there in wow. India. Wow. Yeah. They some they doing business so they need to learn local language. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And what do you think has been your favorite thing about life here in America? Uh, I think Christmas. Really? Because I, yeah, because I think yeah. Christmas I like yeah, because yeah. like wherever you go, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know like you just see light, you just see meet people, yeah. they say Merry Christmas. Yeah. I think I this year I don't see anybody wearing hat. I'm the only one like on the street. Yeah, I just go in a grocery store, Merry Christmas, yeah. like you know, it just and everybody yeah. knows like you know, mm -hmm. kind of that's like a bit uh, mm -hmm. I think good thing also and uh, yeah. What else I think is the best? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, that's the main thing I think I can say. Uh, yeah, Christmas. Christmas in America is pretty special. Yes. And I like your tree that you still have up. When do you take down your Christmas tree? Oh, so we, even in India, we always just like, we don't want to like, you know, get like so fast. We want to wait yeah. for one more week. Okay. For next weekend. Like, okay. So we usually do like a mm -hmm. first uh, like January, like first weekend, like mm -hmm. kind of like, but this weekend is so soon. Yeah. So we're going to do like an next Okay, one. okay. Yeah. This smells amazing, these Thank spices. You. Do I add that pepper in? Yeah, Was you can pepper? add uh, pepper and uh, also this uh, daily also. Okay, so it's been uh, cooking here like almost five to six minutes. So we're going to add uh, uh, bay leaf, like three bay leaves and black pepper, like half teaspoon of black pepper. And we're gonna add this uh, raisin. raisins. <laughs> so this is golden raisin actually and I, I like this one but you can use other one also no problem. So it's like half cup of golden raisin I'm using. Do we add that now? Yes, you okay. can add it right now. See, we have a cook coming yes, all the way from South Carolina. This is so fun! Yeah. I love cooking and I love Indian food. So oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm learning with you. Pressing them. So I'm using four, five, six. So you can add this also. Okay. In, yeah. And now, carrots. So yeah, we're gonna use. Uh, so this is the uh, two whole carrots. I and I shredded them, and we're gonna use this now. We're gonna cook this also now. So all together, we're gonna cook them maybe around like uh, ten minutes. This is beautiful. The mm -hmm. colors in here. Mm -hmm. I think we need a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna add like one or two tablespoon olive oil more because it's like a little bit dry here. So you can add anytime. This is a good thing about olive oil. It doesn't smell, you know, if you put the raw, it yeah. doesn't smell. How long have you been cooking for? How did you learn how to cook? Hmm. It's been a while actually. I can say 17 years. Wow. Because wow. when I was in Jaipur, like in the city, and uh, mm -hmm. when I left my home, so because home in India, man, they don't cook. 
Because okay. it's for the kids, mother, they don't let them cook. Really? When they grow up, their wife, they don't let them cook. Sometimes husband, they cook, like wow. for just for fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I learned from my mom, but I watch her. Mm -hmm. So I have idea like what to put, what the spices, yeah. like, you know. So when you get an idea about the spices, then you can make your cake, what the spices taste mm -hmm. like, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can create your own recipes. Yeah. So I do like, mostly I do my channel like gluten free, dairy free and wow. and like what healthy. Your food yeah, is healthy, healthy. Yeah. So this yeah. is like completely dairy free and gluten free recipe this one. And yeah. vegetarian as yeah, well. Yeah, vegetarian. You can say, I can say this is vegan. Vegan, oh, yeah. yeah. Vegan and good. it's so good actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we just need like, a, we can do like one thing, we can just cover this. Okay. So we're just gonna cover this for five minutes because when you cover this, uh, so it doesn't get dry, so it has a like steam. Oh, okay. So through steam, it's gonna cook with steam also. And, and do you keep the temperature the same? Yeah, temperature like yeah, this would be fine. It's medium. Okay. Kind of like it's just medium. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then earlier you had made uh, chickpeas. I didn't uh, cook here. I have to start cooking that also. Okay. When we put the rice here, then we can cook this one. Start. Okay. This gonna be faster because I already boil this. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. this is chickpea. Usually I do like uh, sometimes chickpea, you know, they're hard to digest. So we yeah. use only like a fresh one, like raw. Oh, okay. So like dry. Yeah. So I soak them for like three days. Mm -hmm. So wow. I, so you can soak them for like room temperature for 15 hours. Okay. And okay. because if you soak them longer than that, they start to like smell. Oh, okay. So you don't want that. So when it's 15 hours, you will see this sprouted already. Mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. So then you can put in the refrigerator for okay. another like 12 hours. Okay. And then ready to cook. So this is gonna be like easier to digest. Yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. because sometimes I don't like to taste I always mm -hmm. ask my wife to taste and yeah. it's good to taste because I forgot to put the salt there oh uh, yeah <laughs> and salt is the like main, main yeah. ingredient how mm. much salt should we put in here just put like a like maybe two of these two of these okay mm -hmm. let's put salt and so it's like a this I can say like two teaspoon like one and a half teaspoon actually okay. yeah. We're gonna save half of this here okay. for like on top. So oh, when you cook, okay. so we're gonna put on top. Okay. What is your favorite Indian dish? Oh, there's a lot actually. There's so many. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because India, every state, if you go, there's a own 50 different dish. So yes. like, I can say I like chicken. Mm -hmm. So like, I can say any chicken dish I like, mm -hmm. and I like South Indian like dosa. Okay. And some uh, bada bada what are they called chicken tikka i like and chicken tandoori chicken i like actually mm -hmm. tandoori chicken is my favorite too yeah i really like shy paneer oh yeah That's such a good yeah dish paneer too. is like yeah mm. my wife is dairy free so we okay. don't cook that's why I create like recipe like dairy free mostly. Yes. And uh, gluten free. So mm -hmm. see gluten free and dairy free. Mm -hmm. So paneer means cheese. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And you cannot find paneer here unless you find it maybe online or somewhere. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. You uh, wanna check this? Yeah. Careful with the steam. steam, yeah. Because this is coming out, it's very hot. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a smell. Cooking, yeah. yeah, in India we don't we just smell, okay. Spicy done. Wow. Oh, it smells good. Okay, that means it smells good. So you can like uh, put half of this here. Okay. Yeah. How can I work on my smelling skills to know when it's done? You have to cook lots of uh, uh, Indian food a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So see the half of this uh, dressing we're just saving here. For on top, we're gonna like garnish. And now I have a uh, soak three cup of rice here right here. And I soak this for at least 20, 30 minutes. And this is basmati rice, so now we're gonna pour this here. We add this all in? Yeah, okay. we're gonna add this here and... Mm -hmm. Since this rice was soaking here for like a little while, so we don't need so much water. Usually rice, 
when we cook rice, you know, like it goes like one cup rice and two cup water. Yes. So with this, we're gonna do like one cup rice and one cup water. I'm happy. I'm gonna add this stuff water right there. Because uh, we soak this rice, mm -hmm. the rice is already like so. If you put too much water, it get like very uh, what you call sticky kind of. Okay. Yeah. Do we just so, cover that back again? Yeah, we just cover this okay. and let this uh, start in high heat. When just I like clear uh, like lid mm -hmm. because you can see rice. Because rice making rice really is in India also like this very you have to have like a, we have to have good skill. Yes. Sometimes I also mess up with rice, it doesn't perfect because for us we want like rice to be like separate like all mm -hmm. like you know not mm -hmm. stick together. Okay. You know? So when you serve is like nice. Yes. So, yes. so when we start see this when it started boiling, so we're gonna put this in like completely low. Okay. And let this uh, cook. For about how long? In the low you can cook for like next 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, I'm just heating this and you can add a uh, so I don't need to make a video for this, so I already have. So you can just pour like four tablespoon. What are we making here? The so we're making chickpea. Okay, okay. So this is like a, uh, this is a, we have like a called chana masala, but I'm not making chana masala. Mm -hmm. They're going to be spicy, but like we call cut masala. Cut means which? Cut masala. Okay. Cut means like cutting, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. So we call that. So that means okay. we're not gonna have any garam masala here. Okay. We only have gonna have a cumin seed. Okay. And some onion. Should I use a spoon? Yes. And how much? Uh, let's see the for cumin seed. We need we need to pop the cumin seed like you know. So that means oh. we need like oil is hot. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is this? So this is uh, onion, ginger, and garlic paste. Oh, yeah. that you make yourself. Yeah, okay. I just put in a blender like half onion mm -hmm. here, and uh, mm -hmm. so it's like five cloves of garlic, and one, uh, like one and a half inch ginger. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is like a super healthy, you know? Yes, I'm Take sure. A term, we're going to use turmeric base, so it's like turmeric is good for inflammation, garlic mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. for digestion. Yeah, so good it's like, immune boost. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, this is very good. Like, yeah. Have you met a lot of Indians here? Yes. Yeah, so now we it's ready. Okay. So we can put like a half of these. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Ah, the, the sizzle, yeah. the sound. Okay. Right, now we're gonna add this uh, paste. All of it? Yep. Yeah. Oh wow. So one thing about Indian uh, food. Mm -hmm. uh, can I use this? Yep, yeah, you can use it. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes we what we we need more specific thing actually. We think oh we need this much no. Because in America people only use little little. <laughs> no, because we need more than we think actually. Yeah. Turn so it down. now see it started boiling here. So we're gonna turn this down all the way low. Completely yeah. yeah. And let okay. this cook for next twenty minutes. Okay. And then what about this little guy over here? So we have to like uh, it's this process. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Okay. Yeah. And we keep it on that medium yeah, so heat. So while we cooking, you can just add some turmeric, half of this. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And you can use a little bit chili powder, like we yeah, have that much here for now. You can add it later also if you need it. Mm -hmm. And this is one main ingredients right here. Salt. Yeah. Should I put that in yeah. now? A little bit more because uh, I'm not putting so much because uh, when I boil that. Chickpea, so I add some salt there. So when okay. you're boiling the chickpea, mm -hmm. uh, the salt goes all in you know, while it's boiling. Got it. So, uh, so I'm gonna cover this with. Uh, I don't want the steam to go out. So I'm gonna oh. use this. Yeah. So it's well, the trick. Oh, that's interesting. It yeah. tries to escape. Yeah, because the steam has uh, so much. Power, you know. Yeah. Remember steam engine, how the gym floor yeah. started. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow, these look so fresh. They look so much better yeah. than canned oh, chickpeas. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes people they not uh, they don't like cilantro sometimes, but they can use a little bit like a mint, fresh mint, a little oh, bit. Oh, like, mint instead of Not this of much, like this. Like, yeah. Okay, because mint is so strong. Yeah. yeah, it's perfect. You can uh, wow. see. How separate this rice 
you don't want this rice to be sticking together so mm how -hmm. this works so and now we're gonna garnish all over the place okay what a beautiful dish and we're gonna eat now <laughs> Sorry, Kellen. Kellen man's angry. Mm, I'm ready to try. <laughs> After a labor of love, we get to enjoy it. Oh yeah, because one thing I wanna tell you, Indian food uh, take time, but this labor of love. Mm. And uh, so whoever making Indian food, if like they're inviting you, that means they work a lot actually. Yeah. And so that's why you, it's good to have like a prepare earlier. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. the way I do sometimes, so then I don't have to do like in the minute, so I can do like fast way. Yeah. So we eat Indian food a lot actually, because we prepare earlier and then we prepare dinner, so we prepare more, so we can have for next lunch. That's awesome. Next day for leftovers, yes. so we don't have to do anything. Yeah. So we always do like two meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even this meal you made is mm -hmm. enough for tonight also. Yeah, I'll yeah. be back tonight, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. You can see like all the spices and how you cook, yeah. Mmm. So good. So Thank many you. flavors. Yeah. It's so good. Wow. Mm. You get a little bit sweetness there because it is a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this gives you a little bit salty, like, you know, kind of like yes. perfect. Uh, this is amazing. So do you like to eat these together then? Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm. Wow. You guys have to try this recipe. It is amazing. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. You're most welcome. Yes. Be sure to check out his channel. We'll link it below. And you can learn amazing, amazing recipes with him. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to continue learning English. I hope that you guys have the best day. Ciao, ciao. Bye. <laughs> We're gonna go so we can enjoy this meal. <laughs>